Good morning, YouTube. Um, my name is Cindy. If you're new to my channel, I am 50 years old and I'm competing in my first bodybuilding competition um, in April. So I am just under six weeks out. Today is Monday, February 26th, and I just wanted to come on here to talk a little bit about um, the posing seminar that I went to yesterday. So it was uh, partially posing, but really more just for competitors. Um, you know, kind of to see the vendors that are available and tips and tricks, I guess, for show day and then, you know, general competition type information. And then the last bit was some posing. And for the posing part, um, we did that, you know, most people without shirts on, just with a, you know, a sports bra so that they could see your shape as you're doing your posing. And most of the competitors there were quite young. There was a couple in my age bracket, but not many. Um, and I did find myself feeling a little bit insecure and um, vulnerable. Just being older and having some loose skin from two pregnancies and just wasn't, wasn't feeling great about myself. And when I got home, my coach um, messaged me and just asked you know, what I thought about the seminar. And I, I mentioned how I was feeling. And you know, her response was just kind of incredible. I mean, she, you know, pointed out that to be my age and to, you know, have birthed children and still be willing to put myself out there and go through this process was, you know, really inspiring to her. And she was so proud of me and like just all of this wonderful, you know, words of support. Um, and she talked about, you know, having fear and doing something anyway. And uh, that's what this process has been like. And I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit emotional, but it really is uh, a mental and emotional journey more than a physical journey. Like, you know, I love training. I love everything that has to do with bodybuilding. Um, but the ups and downs of being in a competition prep where, you know, you are hungry, you are tired, you are sore, and you keep pushing forward and then you know you wonder if you're good enough you wonder why you did this in the first place like all of those questions come up um, and I've had five coaches over the years and you know pretty much across the board uh, they've spoken down to me you know if I asked a question I would get kind of a condescending response you know of like do you think you know more than me or you know, if you if you knew yourself well enough, you wouldn't need a coach, you know, and like that kind of response and or laughing at me or saying something like trust the process, which is the most annoying response of all. <laughs> and my current coach is just I mean, she's night and day opposite to everyone that I've hired before. And I think that's why I never managed to complete this process and actually compete, even though that was a dream of mine for so many years. I always quit. Um, but this time around, having her support and having her like by my side as opposed to telling me what to do, you know, and it being a real collaboration, like she will ask me, what do you think, you know, when she makes a recommendation? And, you know, it's just a completely different relationship. And I know she'll be there on show day to walk me through that. I know she'll be there for my tanning. I know she'll be there for my photo shoot. Like she's just, she's just an incredible person. And I think she does what she does out of love for women and wanting women to feel confident and beautiful and strong. Uh, I don't think, you know, this is a money grab as I think it is for many online coaches. You know, they're just, they see their clients as, you know, another another certain amount of money that is in their pocket and they give very little attention to you in between your check-ins and your check-ins are work for them you know they review the check-in they respond she's not like that like i truly feel like she has my best interests at heart and she's doing this for the right reasons and i just feel incredibly blessed to have her by my side and i i really believe with her coaching me i will I'll see this through for the first time. So I just wanted to mention that and put that out there. People have asked me on here for feedback about how to choose a coach. <laughs> and like, this is one of those intangibles that I don't know, you could figure out the personality of your coach and how they're gonna treat you. Maybe you could, because I've gotten that gut instinct when I've talked to people before, but I've ignored it. Like if somebody kind of is talking down to you, even in the initial call or short with you or diminishes you know, what you have to say and your feedback, 
that's a red flag. So I would say more important than credentials or anything else, like yes, she's a three-time Olympian and that's incredible, but more than that, she's an incredible human being. And if you can figure that out and find somebody who you know, really cares about you and has your best interests at heart, like that's your person. So I just wanted to share that and uh, to the extent it's helpful if you, you know, are in the market for a coach, be very picky. Not so much about credentials or, you know, what their athletes look like or anything else, but more about, you know, are they going to treat you the way they would a family member? Are they going to really support you in those down moments? I think that's the most important part, especially for a first prep. I'll see you in the next clip. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday, February 28th, almost March. Um, I had my check-in this morning and I did my training. I was up super early, uh, of course, (laughs) 2.45. I was at the gym at 4.30. I actually waited for 15 minutes at the gym for a Smith machine and couldn't get one at 4.30 in the morning. My Planet Fitness by my ass is completely insane. Um, But had a, had a pretty good training session, um, actually felt decently strong, um, but my weight is still dropping. So I dropped another half a pound since my last check-in, which was half a week ago. So i um, curious to see what my coach is going to do with me. I'm just feeling like so skinny. Um, it's really weird. It's definitely uh, a mind effery at this point where, you know, I have not seen myself like this, um, just this lean. I can see every bone in my spine. I can see all of like the Christmas tree on my back and everything. It's it's definitely a mind trip. Um, I keep asking myself, like, am I too lean to be this far out? And at the same time, I can't see any tie-ins in my glute hamstring, and I don't think I will um, before the show. So my upper body's just the way I lose fat, I guess, is just my upper body super, super lean. And then I'm still holding some fat um, in the back of my, you know, glutes and thighs. So it's like, do you have to keep going till that's gone? I don't know. I don't know. Where is this going? Um, So just feeling all those kind of like doubts and uncertainty. Um, I put that all into my check-in to my coach. So I don't hide anything from her. I tell her exactly how I'm feeling. Um, you know, I not only report on like biometrics like sleep and recovery and strength, but I definitely tell her like the emotional up and down because this, what I'm learning is like being in competition prep is so much about managing like the emotions and the doubts. And I think that's why it's really good to have a coach, somebody on the outside who can guide you because left to your own devices, like, you know, you don't, you don't see yourself accurately because um, you're just, there's just a lot of mental stuff that goes on, but Um, I just wanted to say also thank you so much to everyone that's been watching and putting such supportive, loving comments um, on my videos. They help tremendously. I feel like I'm in a community and I'm being, you know, kind of buoyed by that support. So I really do appreciate it. Uh, I have gotten a couple of more hateful comments lately, (laughs) Um, you know, and I guess that's to be expected when you put yourself out in a public forum. But you know, anybody that wants to comment about the chemicals in my food or anything else, like at this point in prep, it's about just making it through each day. It's not, it's not a health journey. Um, as much as, you know, fitness is a health journey and that has been my focus for many years. When you're in the depths of competition prep, you're just getting through it. Um, you have to get to a level of leanness that's just uncomfortable and, you know, being hungry is not fun. And so all these little, you know, zero calorie or low calorie foods that I've thrown in for this last six weeks of my prep, you know, that's, that's the way it's probably going to be until my calories are higher. So don't bother putting in comments about Walden Farms or anything else. Like I'm, I'm very well aware of the chemicals in our food supply. Um, So yeah, uh, I just wanted to say that and uh, I'll be back to let you know what feedback I get from my coach, what changes we're making, if any, and uh, I'll catch you in the next clip. Okay, uh, it's a little bit later on Wednesday and I've gotten my feedback from my coach. Um, she's, you know, trying to encourage me that I, you know, I'm getting tighter and that everything's going the way it should. She did add 30 grams of carbs to my food today and reduced my cardio for the rest of the week from 35 minutes a day to 30 minutes a day, so. That's what I got. <laughs> but-
But I really think, um, you know, this process is so much about just managing your, you know, self-talk because my self-talk is like, it's really challenging right now. Um, I think if I had not paid for everything for the show, I probably would have backed out at this point. So just being honest, but forward we go. And uh, I'll catch you in the next clip. morning YouTube it is Thursday February 29th uh, last day of February leap year and uh, I took you through um, my glute training glute and hamstring training this morning I was weak as weak as can be um, I kept everything super light I tried to focus on you know controlling the reps and this particular training so I have three different leg trainings this one um, my coach put in um, lots of like pausing at the top in the stretch position for most of the movements and slow and controlled. So this is the one that I do lighter weight anyway, but I felt super weak this morning. Um, happily, it is a high carb day or higher carb day. Um, so this morning I had um, cinnamon raisin French toast, which was amazing. I forgot to take a picture, but very simple. So I used the Thomas's cinnamon raisin bread uh, dip it in liquid egg whites, pan fry it dry, and then thank you to Nicole Burgess, Next Level Nicole, if you don't follow her, you should. Um, I actually bought the same air fryer as her, and she says in her video like that after she pan fries it, she throws it in the air fryer on broil. Makes all the difference in the world, 10 minutes on broil. Comes out crispy and amazing. Um, so I'm feeling very content this morning. <laughs> I've also added in like one more supplement which is, um, it's from Clinical Labs, um, same as the estrogen equalizer I had showed you before. So my coach is sponsored by Clinical Labs. This one is called Cortisol Blocker. Not sure if you can see it, but it has like ashwagandha, GABA, L-theanine, a lot of like those calming herbs. So I've been taking two of these after I train and then two in the evening after dinner. Um, I think it's helping because definitely I've noticed like my nervous system is super revved up. Um, which is why my sleep is so crappy. I'm lucky if I get five hours of sleep a night at this point, I'm up at like 2.45 every morning. So I'm hoping that this cortisol blocker will help me kind of take some of that stress away because um, that can definitely be an impediment in this process when your stress level is so high um, and your nervous system is always going, you're not getting good recovery, you're not getting good sleep. So I've added in that supplement this week. And uh, yeah, so over the hump of the week, it is Thursday. Um, it's an exciting weekend, so the Arnold starts tomorrow. Um, if you're not a bodybuilding fan, the two biggest competitions of the year are the Arnold and the Olympia. So the Arnold's in Ohio. I've never been to it in person. I've been to the Olympia twice, um, but I love watching the Arnold, and this year the live stream is free. So I will be definitely watching that tomorrow and Saturday. Um, and otherwise, I'll probably just uh, pick you up on the weekend and take you through my check-in on Saturday. So I'll see you then.
Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday, March 1st. I can't believe it's already March. Um, so I filmed a little bit of my workout this morning, at least the pull part of it. Uh, one benefit of being so light is pull-ups and dips are super easy. Um, so uh, yeah, I filmed the pull. I did not film um, the rest of my workout, so I had 12 sets of abs after that and then 30 minutes of cardio. Um, and I just wanted to share um, a new find. So I, I had been thinking about buying this product for a long time, but I was always afraid I wouldn't like the flavor and you have to buy it in like, I think half gallon is the smallest size or gallon containers. But at my posing seminar, we got to taste the different flavors. So I found, I love the cake batter flavor. So I'll show you, I'll flip the camera. So it's called Muscle Egg and it's literally liquid um, egg whites, but they're flavored. So I've been using it to make protein pancakes and it is a total game changer. I absolutely love it. So yeah, highly recommend if you're in prep or <laughs> you know your carbs are pretty low, it's just a really nice way to make a protein pancake. You can add oats to it or anything else, but even by itself, it's just delicious. So new find, delicious muscle egg. Good morning, it is Saturday, um, March 2nd. Can't believe it's March. Um, I just had my check-in this morning. I will insert some pictures here. Um, my weight has dropped again, uh, more than a pound since Wednesday. So I'm down to 107.6, which is kind of nutty. Um, just feeling like a super string bean. Uh, but my coach, thinks I look really good and that my lines are coming into my legs and is happy with the progress. Um, so I just did a Peloton ride for my cardio. I'm going to train legs later this afternoon. Um, the only change she made so far, I don't know if there'll be more, but is uh, she said today go up to 220 grams of carbs and do my refeed um, tonight. So I guess that's good. It seems like every time I get more carbs, my weight drops again. So I don't know if this is normal at this stage of prep. Sorry about the microwave. <laughs> um, just to kind of go into a weight free fall, but that's kind of what it feels like. Um, it's very strange. It's definitely a mental trip because I don't feel like I recognize my own body, but i um, trying to just trust in the process. Um, I will show you, um, I had mentioned the muscle egg that I'm using, so I'll show you the breakfast that I have cooking on the stove. So this is just the muscle egg combined with oats. Um, I put some blueberries and some sugar-free chocolate chips in there. Um, so that will be um, my meal one with a little bit of peanut butter. And I think I will end the video here. Um, it's been kind of a scary week watching my weight do what it's doing. And uh, yeah, I've been watching the Arnold, which is getting me super psyched for my show. So. Just trying to hang in there five more weeks. Thank you for following along. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe to follow the rest of my journey. And uh, I'll see you in next week's vlog.